Welcome to St. Mary's County. Brimming with history, outdoor fun, vibrant culture, and friendly people, St. Mary's is just a short drive from Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. Cradled by the Potomac and Patuxent Rivers and the Chesapeake Bay, St. Mary's has 500 miles of shoreline with five water-based state parks, historic trails, great fishing, boating, camping, hiking, and so much more. Meet some of the locals who enjoy sharing what they do and love about St. Mary's County. My favorite thing to do is probably going to be going out and kayaking um, in Lake Kenoy. I'm a wetland uh, person by nature and the muskrats, the snails, the, the birds, the snakes, the turtles, the cow nose ray, whatever is out there in the Potomac and Chesapeake at one point or another, you can see inside of Lake Kenoy. And of course, St. Mary's has fabulous local seafood. Fresh fish every day, rockfish, perch, of course crabs have just started. Uh, they start April 1st. Saw crabs are starting about three, three to four more weeks. We've got some great restaurants. We've got a lot of homegrown restaurants. You know, you can take uh, over on the Patuxent River, uh, down uh, in Ridge at Point Lookout. I can get a lot of fresh seafood. It's a lot of stuff to do down here. St. Mary's is Maryland's birthplace and the site of the original capital of Maryland. The story of Maryland's beginnings can be seen at many colonial sites, memorials, museums, lighthouses, and waterside communities. St. Mary's City was the founding capital of Maryland. It was the place where uh, Leonard Calvert and uh, the colonists first came to Maryland, their first town in Maryland. An area of the town center, right at the exact crossroads, on the actual crossroads of the town center, where several of the buildings that were here have been recreated as closely as we're able to make. Maryland was totally a pro-Southern state, invaded by the Union. The uh, governor's son was in the Confederate Army. So they, they just came in and said, you're not going to be a Confederate state. Locked up all the state legislatures. Two U.S. congressmen, one from Leonardtown, is the only congressman buried in Leonardtown to be convicted of treason in the United States. St. Mary's has a young population with an urge to live healthy, eat well, and play hard. Here you'll find restaurants offering fresh and local cuisine, historic towns with a trendy edge, fun weekend events, and even top flight motorsports attracting locals and visitors alike. I would suggest that you go to Leonardtown and they have lots of community events which are extremely family friendly. So if you have young kids, there's a lot going on for them. There's great restaurants and pubs. I love uh, to go to Cafe des Artistes in Leonardtown. I think it's great that we have an authentic French restaurant places to um, explore. We have a beautiful uh, waterfront that you can take your family to. And even the local Amish, visiting them and, and getting produce on a, on a weekly basis, it's, I mean, where else can you do that? Here it's where all the locals come. You get that home feeling here. A lot of home cooked food. You can find a, a local uh, charter boat captain that's been been raised on the river, uh, you'll find a lot of people here that have been fishing and crabbing their entire life. You'll find hundreds of great places to visit and discover in St. Mary's County, and when you do, you'll meet as many warm and engaging people who are in love with this great place. I love the job, I love the sights, I love where I work. The people that come here, it's never a dull moment. They're always so exciting. The things that they bring can offer to your parks. It's a wonderful group of people that come here. It's quiet, it's peaceful. Well, I've never found a better place myself. It's just, just a great place, that's all. Come and kick back in the wind, the sun, uh, the water, uh, and slow down and enjoy a little bit of respite. Friendly, outgoing, is people are as nice as you could be. And it's ever-changing and always evolving. And I think that St. Mary's tries very hard to step back and not move too fast, but yet keep up with the pace of, of, other, of other counties and, and other states. Everyone's just really down to earth, good eating, um, just good people. Come, discover the Mid-Atlantic's best kept travel destination secret, St. Mary's County, Maryland. Real people, real places, real close. <laughs>